Hello everyone and welcome to KS4. In today's video, we thought we'd shape things up a bit. Instead of talking about a particular player or a particular team, we thought we'd talk about the SRH versus RCB game at the Rajiv Gandhi Stadium. Although the Sunraisers haven't been a part of the IPL since its inaugural edition, we can say that the closest thing that they have to our rivals has got to be the Royal Challengers Bangalore. Let's not forget that two out of the three finals that RCB have played in the IPL has come against teams situated in Hyderabad. The first time these two teams faced off in this edition of the IPL was an absolute run fest. The match aggregate was the highest seen for a T20 game. And in that match, the Sunrisers set the highest score achieved by a team in the IPL at 287 runs. The Royal Challengers, however, weren't that far behind, scoring 262 runs for a final match aggregate of over 500. They've only failed to cross the 200 run mark three times this season, and in one of those games, they were chasing against the Chennai Super Kings. So the question remains, with the batting form that SRHs are currently on, do you think that it's possible for them to breach the 300-run mark in their game against RCB? Coming to SRHs' batting stats in the power play alone, we can see that they're the best team by a mile, going at an insane 11 runs and over in the first phase of play. And this credit has to go to the dynamic duo of Travis Head and Abhishek Sharma. The Southpaw opening duo have been absolutely belligerent in the opening phase of play, scoring at a strike rate above 230. They also recently set the record for the highest number of runs scored during the power play overs at 125 runs for no loss against the Delhi Capitals. Looking at the venue-wise stats of the Rajiv Gandhi Stadium, we can see that teams batting first have the slight edge over teams batting second. But with an average first innings winning total of close to 200, as the captain winning the toss, there's only one way you gotta go, and that's to bowl first. But history isn't always the greatest indicator. There have been just two matches played at the Opal Stadium this year, with one going for over 500 runs in the game against the Mumbai Indians, and the other game against Chennai Super Kings, where SRH had to chase a modest total of 166 runs. So how do you think the pitch is going to fare when they play against the Royal Challengers Bangalore? Looking at the team-wise stats at the Rajiv Gandhi Stadium, we can see that Sunraisers have won over 60% of their games over there, while the Royal Challengers Bangalore have their lowest win percentage at Hyderabad. Looking at the bowling stats of RCB and SRH, we can see that they have the worst and second worst economies in this IPL. So you've got to think, with these bowling lineups, how exactly are they going to take the team to the opposition? And here in comes RCB's batting lineup. A player that could have been one of the key foils to the Sunrisers in their previous encounter against RCB was Dinesh Karthik. He's hit two half centuries this year and is striking at a rate close to 200. And looking at some of the best batsmen in the depth this year, we can see that DK is having a phenomenal time. And looking at SRH's bowling stats in the depth, we can see that they are not having a great time. They are the second worst team in the league, sandwiched between Delhi Capitals as well as Royal Challengers Bangalore. No matter how the toss goes, the RCB opening batsmen are going to have only one goal in mind to hit as many runs as possible during the power play over. They need to make sure that they hit a mind-boggling total so that the rest of the team can carry on the moment. Looking at Duplessis' stats against the current crop of SRH bowlers, we can see that although he's gotten out to Pat Cummins thrice, he has a great strike rate against him of over 160. He especially needs to target Jaidev Unutkat against whom he's scoring well above 200. And another player who would definitely has to step up to the plate has got to be one of India's greatest T20 batters, Virat Kohli. Looking at his matchups against the SRH, we can see that although Bhuvaneshwar Kumar has gotten the better of him a few times, he still strikes the ball wonderfully against him. And Kohli is also key against Natrajan, the left-arm pacer at SRH, who can cause all sorts of trouble. RCB and SRH this year are two very similarly built teams. They have formidable batting but shaky bowling. So, with two teams that have broken the record for the most number of runs set in a single innings and one team having done it twice, which team do you think might cross the 300-run barrier in the IPL for the first time ever? And will it happen at the Opal Stadium? Please let us know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share and subscribe and keep coming back to K-Sport for more cricketing content.